And we have team coverage of this dangerous weather. Moani Kiala Nabarro is standing by with the very latest forecast. But we're going to begin with Laura Yamada and brand new video of a treacherous hiking ordeal on Kauai that played out throughout the night. Laura? Well, Paula, one family is grieving tonight after a woman in her 40s drowned on Kauai's North Shore. Her body was found at about 8.30 this morning. It was one chapter in a nearly 24-hour ordeal for more than 50 hikers who found themselves trapped miles from safety. And they said within minutes, uh, the river just, just comes falling. Tired, shaken up, wet and muddy, the last of 54 hikers stranded made their way home on Thursday, knowing one of them did not make it out alive. I know better not to go there on the rainy days, but um, had a couple friends that were visiting. Daniel Wright was with a group of friends who, like dozens of others Wednesday morning, ignored the rain, wind, and mud, entered Kalalau Trailhead, aiming for world-famous Hanakapiai Beach a few miles away. And by the time we started to leave, um, the river crossings were already too high. The conditions weren't the best. There was a lot of wind. Kauai Fire Deputy Chief John Blaylock says by 4 p.m. they were getting calls of dozens of hikers trapped upstream in inlets and outcroppings by a now gushing Hanakapiai stream. We even came to a point where we actually left three people up further up the stream going towards the, towards the fall because of the dangerous conditions. Some watched as one woman visiting the islands tried to cross but was swept out to sea. We've been extraordinarily busy this last month. Gina Kalakukui's organization helps the families of drowning victims on Kauai. She says this is now the seventh drowning on the island in less than two months. Mostly tourists, their lives lost in popular spots all around the island. I can only imagine how overwhelming that it's got to be. They should have waited. It's sad because, um, you know, these things can be prevented. Wright was one of a few who had stayed put upstream, he says, in miserable conditions. By morning, nine were choppered out, the rest by foot, now aiming for a safe route home. He escorted 48 people across the river, and then we had firefighters along the, the trail uh, to, to assure them that they got out. So 48 people actually walked out. Now, Kalalau Trail reopened earlier this afternoon. We talked to people in the area who said even though it's still windy and rainy and the trail is still very muddy, as soon as it reopened, people were streaming right back in. Now we have video coming in of smashed car windows at the trailhead and the star advertiser is reporting several of the stranded hikers cars had been broken into the last thing they want to hear.